Oh, it's great. Um, the atmosphere here is great. The coaches are great, and just the players are so welcoming. And then they just took me in. Everything just felt like I've been here from the jump. What's well, the same look like? Uh, it's. Is it different? Is it's it kind of similar. Yeah, similar in ways. What was it that ultimately led you here? Um, just the culture here. Um, Coach Riley's building something special, and um, everybody around the country, obviously, they can see that. And the team was great last year, and then bringing in just a few missing pieces, just to making the team better than where we were. How much does your like in season at Arizona? Are you able to like really pay attention to what USC is doing on offense? Um. We play at a lot of night games, so I was always watching games before. Mm -hmm. So, like, USC was a popular team. They always had a primetime game, so I would watch their offense and their scheme of things. Pretty good, like, like what I was seeing. What was it that stood out to you about? Um, just they like to go deep, take the deep shots, um, trusting your receivers, trusting your quarterback. You had a big season last year. What prompted you to get in the portal and look for a new place to play? Uh, just a different opportunity for me. Yeah, that was the biggest thing. Just winning. Winning culture, stuff like that. Um, going back to high school, you were preferred walk on at Arizona. Yeah. What was your recruitment like, and how frustrating was it that schools weren't identifying your talent back then? Um, so I'm originally from Minnesota, so I had like 14 FCS offers. Wanted to move to Arizona, and get some offers. I ended up losing those offers from moving from Midwest to West Coast. Mm -hmm. And I gained like three offers. Try to commit, but COVID. So then I basically lost all my scholarships. And then like two months before everybody, all the freshmen were arriving on campus, I still didn't have nowhere to go. And Arizona just gave me the opportunity to walk on. Was there a, a worry for you? Like, where am I going to end up? Like, uh, Yeah, pretty much. But I just have faith in God. And just this whole process for me has been different from everybody else. So if you believe in things just happen. I was so, going to say your uh, chemistry with Caleb is coming. Oh, it's really good. Like, yeah, um, we'll go watch film together, study together. Whatever whatever I need from him or he needs from me, we'll co correspond that to each other. Well, so, given that backstory, how satisfying was the last year to kind of prove to everybody this is the kind of player I am and on this level? Uh, it, it just felt good. Like, everybody back home seeing me on TV, they are been seeing what I can do and just, like, letting me express to the world what I can do. What do you remember so, about that performance against USC last season? Um, I remember my family came. It was homecoming week, so my mom, my sister, my niece, um, a couple of my friends from back home, they flew out to see me. It was just a real great experience. I remember, um, I think it was like my second touchdown, I pointed at my family. Was it surreal at all for you, like given how your recruitment went out of high school to get the opportunities that you did going into the transfer portal? Um, not really. Uh, just like hard work goes a long way. So I just believed in myself and the results showed. How soon after you entered the portal did you hear from USC? Um, the day the portal opened. Yeah. yeah. The day, so the day the portal opened, that's when my name officially entered the, um, where coaches can see. And then um, Coach Simmons, Coach Hero hit me up. How do you fit to this offense? How are they using you? Um, right now, I'm going X and Z. Just taking it in to see where I best fit for the offense, going both outside positions right now. What's stood out to you about just learning the offense since you've been here? Um, learning the offense, if you learning like concepts, you would know what everybody's doing. So like, if you know what you're doing, you would know what everybody's doing. That's like the good thing about this offense. You can just mix players in. Coach Simmons spoke, spoke highly of you last week. Is there anything that you're kind of observing from his coaching? Um, it just, he's very, like, the details. Like, he'll tell you something over and over, but it's for a reason. Like, the details are very important in this offense, and one small thing can mess up the play. So he's very strict on the details, and that's what I really like about him is the details. When you got that preferred walk-on offer at Arizona, how did that come about? Like, how um, desperate of a situation were you in before that came about? Um, so I got a call from one of their coaches. He talked to me about it. But I didn't know like what a walk on was. Like I didn't know like wh what that was the terms, and so I just like told him like I basically kind of turned it down. But then like a high school coach kind of explained to me and what it was. So then I was just like, yeah, I'll do it. And it was two months before everybody was getting on campus, so I was really didn't have anywhere to go. Mm -hmm. So Beyonce said last week that 
like you guys kind of spoke about uh, coming to USC from Arizona. Oh, uh, yeah. How much of a conversation was it for the three of you to come um, As soon as he got the offer, um, I called him right away and just was like, what's your decision like? Because I'm thinking about, because I never posted my USC offer, so I was just like, what's your decision like? I'm thinking about going and then we talked to Ciro, like we were, we all three came in together. We had a good bond at Arizona. So, does yeah. it make it easier to have teammates here? Yeah, it does. Really, it makes it easy. Yeah, very easy. Did, did Caleb talk to you during that process? Uh, yeah, yeah, we talked quite a bit. Yeah. What was his message during that? Um, well, I I, re, I, I additionally reached out to him first mm -hmm. and just seeing like what was going on and he just said he would have those conversations when it's the right time, appropriate time. And we stayed in contact throughout the whole time. Any of the other receivers in, in the room really standing out to you really? Um, really all of them. Like it's a huge difference from the place I came and just seeing the competition level. It's like every day you really have to compete because the man next to you is if not better than you, he's the same. What do you see from the freshman? From Zach Ryan Brown and from Makai uh, they're phenomenal. Like Zach, he has the speed, the quickness. Makai, he lit, he like learns the playbook fast. Like me and him will come on the field, run some plays and stuff like that. How valuable is it to be able to prepare uh, in the rainy conditions like it is for next season? Um, it's really valuable. Like when I moved to LA, they said the weather was nice. But, <laughs> um, yeah, like last year we played Utah. It was raining. And, wasn't really prepared for those conditions, so this is really preparing us for those October, November games. Let's do one more. Oh. Can you go back to the highlights? Um, here and there, it's really that was last year. What I did last year was what I did last year. I'm really focused on what we're doing here at USC now. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you guys.